have a very special segment of Nonprofit Spotlight. We're turning the cameras on ourselves and featuring Santa Barbara channels. We'll be talking with Executive Director Carrie Stockstead, Production Specialist Mark Melson, and Channel 21 producer Jesus Estrada. Let's start our spotlight. Thank you, Carrie, for joining us today. I want to start off by asking you, what is the mission of Santa Barbara Channels? Sure, so Santa Barbara Channels' mission is to provide communication tools to the residents of Santa Barbara County. We offer a public access channel and that allows people to take um, training on video production equipment and put their um, programs on Channel 17. And then we have Channel 21, which is our cultural arts and education channel. And that's where we do productions that are like yours, what we're doing today. Yes. Well, before we talk more about the ways that Santa Barbara Channel will support the community in their television production efforts, I want to find out about this new building we're standing in. Can you tell us where we are right now and how this new location for Santa Barbara Channels is different from the old one downtown? Sure. So um, I actually am new to Santa Barbara Channel, so this is my home, and it's beautiful. We actually have a state-of-the-art facility. We're in Goleta, mm -hmm. and we have two beautiful studios and uh, edit bays, and we have a lot of space for meetings. We're actually trying to lease the upstairs. We're hoping to partner with other nonprofit organizations or other arts organizations so that we can really make this space uh, a nonprofit uh, creative arts community space for everyone. And one upgrade that is near and dear to my heart are the energy efficient upgrades that you've made. Can you tell us more about those? Yeah, absolutely. We have these LED lights. They're really great because they're low heat and they're energy efficient. They're in the studio. We can also make them available for portable checkout. And people really, really like them. They actually do much better lighting and they're easier for people to configure. So it's been a great benefit for us, especially when it saves money. Saves money and it also is definitely a lot cooler, which I know we're appreciating right now. Right, right. Can you talk to me about uh, the ways that the community supports Santa Barbara Channels? Right, well, we get our funding through the city and the county, and that's through grants provided through the city and the county that started through what's called a franchise agreement with the cable company. So essentially, when you get um, your cable bill, there's a little bit of money out of your cable bill that goes back to the city and back to the county, and they allocate some of that money to us. Uh, we're also supported through volunteer efforts, donations, grants, and member support through member fees. And the classes that we offer, we charge a little bit for those as well. And we do some dubbing and some production services. And what are the benefits that a community member will enjoy when they become a member of Santa Barbara Channels? So when they become a member, they actually are able to take training on video cameras and edit bays. And we have this uh, wonderful studio, and the studio actually has these uh, digital switchers where you can do um, chroma key or live green screen sets, which mm. is kind of fun. It's like what you see when you watch the weather. They're able to put their programs on channels 17 and 21, which are the public access and the educational access channels, and people in the community are able to see their neighbors on TV. We talked about the way Santa Barbara Channels help support community television. What can the community do to help support Santa Barbara Channels? Well, so like most nonprofits in the area and across the country, we struggle. So we hope that people will donate because we have a lot of projects that we love to work on and every little bit helps. But also if you can just tune in and watch what your neighbors are producing for you, um, I think that they'll, you'll see that there's a lot going on in terms of educational programming and what's happening with the schools, but also your neighbors and their political views and things that are happening in the community. So I encourage everybody to watch and donate what you can. Thank you, Carrie, for talking with us today. And up next, we'll be talking with Mark Melson, production specialist here at Santa Barbara Channels. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for joining us today. Can you explain to me the difference between Channel 21 and Channel 17? Channel 21 is uh, educational access, and 17 is the public access, or the term I like to use is community access. And they're both a great community resource that the people can come in, especially the nonprofits, and uh, use the resource. It's a great cost-effective way to get their word about their organization or um, events or fundraisers that they may want to put the word out. So even if a nonprofit didn't have anyone on staff that was uh, trained formally in television production, they would be able to come in, get trained, and then produce something that would air locally? Right. We can help them air it. And also, I mean, it, they actually produce it, so they can use it on their website or our brochures or whatever they want to do for, for their own nonprofit organization. Channel 17 is unique because it is public access, community access. Can you tell me about the free speech that goes along with being a public access channel? 
Sure. I mean, we're not governed by the FCC. We're governed by the First Amendment right. So it's pretty wide open, whatever the content. I mean, it has to be within community standards. Um, but it's pretty wide open. It's whatever people want to do. So it's whatever you can dream up with, you can, you can produce here. Perfect. So someone wants to become a member of Santa Barbara Channels and get this information, gain access to all of these fantastic facilities, what should they do? They can go to our website, sbchannels.tv, um, or they can come on in. We're at 7000 Hollister in Goleta, and uh, we have uh, orientations or tours on uh, Wednesdays at 7 and Saturdays at 1. Thank you again, Mark, for talking with us today. And up next, we'll be talking with Channel 21 producer, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for talking with us today. Can you explain to me how Channel 21 differs from Channel 17? Sure. Channel 21 produces content for the community, but it's more educational content, so we produce educational culture and arts programming. That's kind of our tagline. So we go out into the community, different nonprofits will contact us, we'll go to the Marjorie Luke Theater, we'll go out sometimes to UCSB, City College, or any other venue that they need us for that people want to get their event taped, and then we edit it and we put it on Channel 21. So when we were talking to Mark, he was explaining that a nonprofit can come in having no experience in television production and mm -hmm. get educated and air a program. And so Channel 21, if a nonprofit really isn't interested in going that route, they can just call you up, yeah. Channel 21, and uh, get the video services taken care of uh, for a fee, obviously. But Yeah, we do charge a fee just to cover some of our costs. Our fees are very minimal compared to other uh, production studios because we are a nonprofit. And we also want to cater to all the nonprofits in town to be able to come in, produce content that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do if they were to go to like a production facility that's charging full on market rates. It's very expensive to produce video, and being a nonprofit, we're able to provide those services at a lower cost. So we're really, you know, an educational channel for everybody to watch, learn something. I know we're not going to change people's minds in terms of what they're watching, you know, 8 o'clock, you know whatever they're watching on other big cable broadcast networks, but it's something different for the community and it's uh, really it's a reflection of the, the town. That's exactly it. It's mm. local. It's yes. your neighbors uh, not only getting involved and seeing what they are working on, but also yes, being able to um, just see what the community itself is up to. Yes, correct. Well, thank you, Jesus, so much. It's a pleasure to not only work with you, but to be able to talk with <laughs> oh, you today you. as well. Thank you very much. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.